In part two, we're turning this After Effects project into a motion graphics template that you can customize and use in your own edits. Along the way, I'll teach you best practices for building Mogurts. If you missed part one, check the description and come back when you're ready. I'm opening a custom workspace which has the essential graphics panel open. This allows us to add controls to our Mogurt. Next, I'll select the control layer and lock it. We need to select our top level comp for our Mogurt, which is this one, full screen repeated text. Control F to search source text and add that property to the essential graphics panel. I'm going to enable all these style options. Now the editor has access to all of the font properties. For color controls, create an adjustment layer, rename it, add our tint, and add both controls to the EGP. Since we only have two colors, this is a really lightweight, easy way to update those. Lastly, I want the editor to be able to turn this background on or off at their choosing. So let's add a checkbox control to our control layer, rename it to background on off, open up the opacity here, pick whip our checkbox. The value of a checkbox that is off is zero. The value of a checkbox that's on is one. We can just write times 100 into the expression field. Now, if the checkbox is on, opacity equals 100% or zero is off. Let's add both of these to our EGP. Now we'll get organized renaming controls and adding groups. Let's change the text to something like Jonah Hill. Hill is a short word, so we need more repetitions of it. This is why we included that word count slider. I'll change this to MoGraph Mindset and close our groups. It's also good to add global controls, which affect the entire composition. So we can parent our buildup and our black solid background to our control layer, open up our position and our scale, and add those to our EGP. Rename this to global position and global size. We can see that our edges are getting cut off. So what we can do is collapse transformations. Go into our buildup comp, collapse transformations for all of these. And now that'll be extended. Now the editor can infinitely rescale or reposition the entire Mogurt using the global controls. Now let's give the editor the ability to retime the entire animation. So for example, I'll go ahead and bring full screen repeated text into a new comp. I'm also going to organize these real quick. So here's our review comp, right? Now our animation only lasts to one second. So in our top level Mogurt comp, we'll go to composition, responsive design time, create intro, and shrink this down one frame long. Now in our review comp, if we pull in our comp again, we'll see that blue highlight section, which is the protected region. Our layer without responsive design time is just going to shrink and get cut off. By only adding one frame of a protected region, it allows the entire composition to be stretched equally. Let's trim this composition to one second. It's important to universalize your expressions so they will work in any language. I use expression universalizer because it's accurate and automatic. It's well worth the money. And now we can just name and export our motion graphic template. I'm going to change this color to something that matches our reference, like this nice orange. Export that out. If you're selling your Mogurts, it's good practice to use default system fonts or Adobe fonts so fonts never show up as missing. But I like Caviar Dream, so we'll stick with this. So now if we hop over to Premiere, I can pull in that Mogurt and we have access to all of our controls that we input earlier with tons of customization options for our editors. And because we set this up with responsive design time, we can stretch this Mogurt to increase or decrease the duration of our animation. Now this Mogurt can be easily customized in Premiere by you or another editor to create tons of unique variations without ever re-rendering in After Effects. Check back soon for more advanced After Effects techniques. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.